I can feel it all cold on my eyeballs. Hi, my name is Prue, uh, Prue Larue, and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a look ooh, entirely based around Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coats. I've got the lavender, lavender gold and silver one. You can sort of see the effect there. So I thought I'd do a blue, a blue smoky eye. I've started off bare face because, well, I'm pretty sure it's going to get messy. I'm using my Astralis palette today to give that blue a well and see how it fares. And I've already put down the MAC paint pot. Let's get started. An old faithful. I'm going to, my MAC 217. All these shades do have names. Oh, that's exciting. So I haven't set my primer and I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to go in. So let's bring you in. This is the shade Equality from the Australis Kaleidoscope palette. And really this is blended beautifully. Um, I am not mad at this shade at all. All right. Going in with the other eye. And look, my God. <laughs> but look at all my kick up. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with Pride. I'm just gonna use the same brush. So the Natasha Denona is a top coat so I figure maybe should I lay the blue on my lid and then put it over the top and just make it a super like bluey look I think that's where I'll go awesome I'm just gonna clean this brush off let's put more blue Nice and coated. I'm just going to put this over the top. I like the black to deepen it, but I don't want the black to be the main pull. And then I'm just going to grab some on the side and pack, pack, pack. Huh, I'm really impressed with this eyeshadow I'm gonna dip in a little bit with this yellow up here which should be respect I'm just gonna give us a little yellow on the outer all right and then I'm gonna go back in with the blue Sorry, Marceline is having a good old scratch. Awesome. All right, I'm just going to clean up the sides. And I'm going to go and lay down the rest of my face and come back. All right, I'm back. I finished most of my eye, so let's just go put some stuff on the bottom of it. Smoke out the bottom. Some eyeliner. And then let's check out this top coat. Everything that's on my face will be listed below. I really, I can't believe the pigment in this. Like, check that out. It's a black brush and it, you can see the blue pigment on it. Alright, I'm just going to get some of the black. A little tap tap. And you can just see it's a little patchy in here. Then I'm going to grab a clean blendy brush and just try and blend this one out. All 
right, and then putting some stuff in the inner corner using my Morphe R41. I'm gonna go in with, should be love. Now let's go in with the star of the show. My new pigment, here it is. I'm gonna use one of my Jessup brushes. I thought it was more like a cream, but it's like coming out powdery. Oh, there's the creamy. I can feel it all cold on my eyeballs. I don't like the way the brush has done that at all. So let's go on with my finger. I'm just finding I'm picking it up in chunks. I'm super into the formula. I don't know. Maybe I'm using it wrong. But it was more like a dry pigment. I thought it was gonna be like a I thought it was gonna be like a gel. Um how do I explain it? Yeah, I just thought it was gonna be like a cream eyeshadow. What all? Alright, so I'm going in with my NYX waterproof eyeliner in deep blue. I was sort of worried that would darken my, like, you know, make my eyes shrink more, but I kind of, I like what it's done. Right, and mascara. I feel like I should just have a lucky dip for mascaras now. I've been really enjoying the It Cosmetics Superhero. And can you see how much that just curled up everything? This is impressive. Oh, and I know, I know Annette will want to know. <laughs> so Annette is Annette from Makeup Corner and Bad Girl Bang. I'm just gonna put it on the other eye because I'm not going anywhere exciting. But let's do a comparison. So Bad Girl Bang It Cosmetics. I think it's pretty like it's pretty spot on. Like I think the It Cosmetics at the moment has my heart. For me it's just separated them really nicely. So I don't know, I think It Cosmetics superhero mascara is worth trying out. Check-in time. And it's not too bad. It's still there, but it's just like melted into my lid. It's all dry, not too oily. Mascara on both sides looks pretty good. All in all, I think, not bad. Yeah, thanks. Mm. <laughs>